My name is Bronco Billy. My friends just call me Billy. What's yours? Michael. Michael. Well, that's a fine name. You know, I have a second cousin named Michael. Yeah, Lorelai, you, you know Michael, right? Okay, so look, Michael. Yeah? That's a really nice teddy bear you got there. Thanks, he's my best friend. Oh, that's sweet. Ain't that sweet, boys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure is. That's sweet, right, Lorelai? So, look, Michael. I really, really like that bear of yours. I want it. I would like to have it. No, he's mine. You can't have it. I understand that, Michael, but... Jeez, Billy, we'll leave the damn kid alone! Sorry about that, Michael. You want to do a trade? Would you like a trade? A trade? You know, a trade. I give you something and you give me something. Well, what would I trade you for? For your bear. What do you want? Uh, pills? Money? I mean, come on. Well, why do you want it? I already told you this, Michael. I just really really like that bear of yours. Tell you what, let me ask you a question. You have a favorite candy? Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. How about this? I'll give you 50 bucks and you can walk on down to Jim and Judy's and buy as much Sour Patch Kids as your little heart desires. Well, I had this bear forever. No, I can't do it. Well, we better be off, boys. Wait, 50 bucks and some pills. All right, deal, kid. This red ripe tomato from roasts. Gradually, our health deteriorated. Are we ready to go? Now we're ready to go. All right, Lynn, I'm ready too, so don't come back out here.
One year since the economic collapse. American society has fallen into shambles and may never recover. Famine, disease, inflation, and war have destroyed any chance of normalcy returning to the country. A new experimental street drug known as pesticide has taken the world by storm. The drug gives its user a powerful psychedelic experience, frying brain cells in the process. Pesticide for the mind. The world as we know it is dead and gone. Goose. Goose! Yeah? What are you doing here? Alright, look. I told you, if you want to buy pesticide, you go to Bronco Billy, not 
me. I know you and him don't get along, but it's my stash, not yours. You gotta go find your own, it's mine. Have you ever been arrested? I did, yeah, a few years back. They had me for a few things, but I was acquitted. Because, you know, I'm innocent, don't get me wrong. But ever since the great collapse, no one's really been arrested, you know? I mean, sure, there are people that deserve to be arrested now, but who's gonna arrest them? Are, are, are you, are you listening? All right, well, Goose, you should probably get going. I got stuff to do, I got songs to work on, you know? Can I use your bathroom? Yeah, you know where it is. feel welcome down here. As you should be, old timer. That's, that's not my name. Charlie calls you that. You are Charlie. What do you want, Warren? I have an idea. Another get rich quick scheme? You know who Bronco Billy is, right? Right. Now, the hierarchy to Billy's entire crime enterprise goes as follows. You got Billy up on top, you got the enforcers. Now that's Lorelei, Matchstick, Jitterbug, you know. And then you got the distributors, guys like me and Charlie. And then you got the low life scum of the earth. You got the dealers. It's you, that's Camarillo Brillo. No need to rub it in. Let me ask you something. Are you ashamed to be where you are right now? I'm not. What the hell are you on about? You should be, Yvonne. You're better than this. What? You could be so much more. You and I both know that. Let's play a game. True or false, Billy is reckless, unstable, and a megalomaniac. You know Billy's a nutcase. He's not just a nutcase. He's reckless, and frankly, he's unstable. All it takes is one bad move, one mistake, and we all end up incarcerated or dead. Frankly, I'd like to be neither. What about you? Billy's always been good to you. So have you. What? I want you to replace Billy. Warren, what the hell are you talking about? I have a plan. A good one. Warren? Just hear me out. Go. There's an incoming shipment. A shipment of pesticide. There's a semi-truck. It's coming from the northern border. It's good stuff. And frankly, if you can get it before Billy can, it'll be enough to knock him off and put you in charge. Maybe up at the top of the food chain. What do you say about that? How can we pull this off? Just show up before Billy does. Say you're picking it up for him. And Jock will go with it. He knows you. Will you be there? If you want me to, yes. Who else do we need? Get Camarillo on board. Oh, chill out. So, look, I I'm going to be behind the scenes from here on out. I got friends in high places, and they'll make sure this is entire operation goes by just swimming. Friends in high places? Who? You know Rick Fisher? Sure I do. He drives that blue pickup truck. Yeah. Friends in high places. Right. Friends in high places. There's a risk and reward factor here that, you know, I'm, I'm aware that the, the risk is a lot higher than usual, but if this works and if this succeeds, we all end up okay, which we most likely will, you wouldn't have to work another day in your life. You'd be on top. All right, so you know that shipment of pesticide that's coming in tomorrow night? I yeah. say we intercept it before Billy can get his hands on it. You've got to be kidding me. No, if we intercept it, we would be on top. Exactly. I'm thinking we get a group together, the three of us and old timer. We can definitely do that. Billy's fucking insane. I he will gut you like a pig. I get if that. Find out. Listen to me. It's gonna be fine. If we just get the shipment, we would be in power. Yeah, Bronco Billy would be below us. This is a terrible idea. Why why are we doing this way easier ways to make money? It's for the power, dude. It's not about the money. If we get on top, we're gonna have unlimited power. Think about that. Come, Come on, on, Charlie. It's not worth the risk. I'm Don't be a this pussy, is a terrible Charlie. Idea. Come You're gonna on. get us all killed. Come on, dude. I'm it's here for a good time. Not a we're long gonna be time. fine. If we sneak in and out, Bronco Billy won't even know. Yeah. All right, let's say somehow we do pull this off. Right. What do we do with all this money? 
What, why are we doing this? It's not for Don't the money. Don't you want to be on top? Think about it. We would be on top of everything. Bronco Billy wouldn't be there anymore. He wouldn't even be a threat. Come on, He's always Charlie. a threat. Not if, not if we get rid of him. him. Not if we can steal that shipment. She's going to piss him off. Come on, and Charlie. Maybe find yeah. out. Come on, dude. And what? Uh, how are we gonna pull this off? What, what's your idea here? All right, so we get the three of us an old timer. We meet tonight at my house, and then we go over the plan. What's I have it laid out, but just give me a minute. We'll go through it tonight. All right, I'll, okay, I'll take it into consideration, but. Come on, dude. Just... Don't pussy out, Charlie. Let's go, dude, come on. What are you, Just think boy? about it. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a buzzkill. I'm just thinking this rationally. Dude, you are really about the power. Bill. Bronco Billy, Bronco Billy will above kill people. Him, if we're above him, why would it matter? That's the problem. Getting above him is nearly impossible. Guys, God, not if we actually shit. pull it is off. Is that Lorelai? Oh, oh my God, I do not want to talk to her. All right, just... Okay. Yeah. What are you guys talking about over here? Nope, about she's plan. not a part of what, the plan. What plan? Well, now she knows. Yeah, you are right. Okay. Well, you know about that shipment of pesticide what? coming in tomorrow? Yeah. Right? Yeah, of course I do. What well, the fuck are you doing? Leave it up, Charlie. Sure, I, I already it. know. Just... What are you planning on intercepting it. Okay. We're gonna get Billy Bronco out of it. The three of us, and then we can totally timer. take him. We'll be three the ones on top. Timer. Okay. Do you guys need? Extra no, nothing's for sure I, yet. We're not no, positive we're actually gonna sure. do it. No, we're gonna talk it no. over. No, we're doing I could, it. I could ask Jitterbug. Jitterbug would be on. Yeah. On board. Okay. He's, yeah. he's got guns. He's a good shot. That's always helpful. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Hey. He could help defend us. What about Matchstick? Matchstick is a blue Dude, he would snitch. Yeah. What are? No, we're not bringing Matchstick. He's so far up Billy's ass. It's no. Yeah. All right. Well, we're I'm, meeting tonight. Okay. What time? I don't know. Sometime. Just show up. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. We're gonna meet good. at my house tonight and go through the plan. I'll be there. I'm in. I'm here for a good time. Okay. Not a long time. Yeah. What? We're gonna die. This is a horrible idea, and you know it. You fucking know it. I don't know. Why didn't you say anything? It's Yvonne. She's dense and stubborn too. Damn loon. You know, I thought you were loyal to Billy. What's up with that? Loyalty is subjective. You and I both know that. Huh? Do you even know how me and Billy met? No, I can't say I have. Billy came to me with money in his hand. He offered me. I didn't ask him. I wasn't knocking down someone's door. I was running from that. I had already been through that. I, I had that. When I worked in retail, I had a revelation. This is a bigger jail than the one I just got out of. He made me realize I didn't want to waste my time working nine to five for next to nothing. I got a sister to take care of. She's got nothing, you see? What the hell do I want to go to work for? Work for what? Money? I work for the guy with all the money. He's the king, man. He rules the underworld, guy. Poke him and you poke the hornet's nest, buckaroo. What am I, gonna run around like I'm some teeny bopper for someone else's money? He makes the money, man. He rolls the nickels. But now, with this, the game is mine. I deal the cards. You have to understand, this is a really horrible idea. I have a bad gut feeling about this. And I'm just saying, now is the time to back out. I can take care of myself, Charlie. You and I both know that. Poor lie. I'm fine. Fuck, okay. I think I got a fun today. So, how have you been doing? What have you been doing as of late? Oh god, I've been horribly busy. Well, what are you doing now? Film preservation. Film preservation? Really? Yeah, I love it. Well, what, what do you do exactly? Well, I handle the restoration of motion picture history, basically. Really? You, you don't say. Every, everything nowadays is, is digital. 
the real question that's in my mind is how how do you still have a job? <laughs> <laughs> All films basically before 1929 are they're they're lost forever. Really? Give me an example of a lost film. Well, first there's the 1919's The First Man on the Moon. I suppose I haven't heard about that one. What's it about? Um, well, it's not called a lost film for nothing. I mean, it's probably one of the first science fiction uh, novels to ever be made into a movie. Interesting. How's Lynette? Uh, me and Lynette separated. Oh, oh, oh god. I'm, I, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't hear about that. That, that's, that's horrible. Um, no, it's, it's, it's fine. I, uh, would you like to talk about it? I, 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 I understand if you don't want to talk about it. We can talk about something else. I, I get it. Do you want to know why we separated? Look, Frank, if, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm just a little intrigued. It, in college, you guys were just inseparable, and, and it's just crazy to me to hear about this. Infidelity. 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 She cheated on me. The affair was affair was going on for a while. Oh my God! I'm I'm so sorry, Frank. David, it's fine. Don't apologize. I'm just utterly shocked. Guess she wasn't as loyal as I thought she was, and that's my fault. Don't say that, Frank. Don't don't say that. See, that's that's why I think people have affairs. See. Not one person is 100% loyal. Their, their loyalty is bound to get tested, and it's a matter of, it's, it's up to them if that loyalty is weak and it will break. All right, fair point, David. So what have you been doing since graduating? Honestly, nothing much. Huh, really? Yeah. I mean, you're always such a go-getter, and you were always so motivated. I mean, what happened? Complacency? Yeah, complacency is a factor, but accounting pays the big bucks. Why, why would I branch out and try to do more? Do you have any hobbies? Mm. Enough about me, Frank. What, what have you been doing? What have you been up to? I mean, I've been playing bass guitar in a death metal band. Oh yeah? What do you guys call them? Uh, terminal colon. Huh. Alright. Yeah, we mostly do it for fun. No, 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 it's cool. My, my, my neighbor actually makes music, too. <laughs> oh yeah? What kind of music? I... I don't know. Captain Beefheart type stuff. I, I really can't explain it. I also had a small role in an indie film. What's it? What's it called? I'll have to look it up later. It's called Eye of Providence. It's basically just about this like huge billionaire, and he goes into this uh, like white kind of suburb type uh, area, and it's just, they just like film these people's life basically. It's just, like the whole house is just covered with them. So the billionaire, he like lives for these people and almost like lives out his dream of having the family or the, the life, you could say, that he always wanted. Well, 
is the movie any good? Uh, the director was so far up his ass, he must have thought he was the, like, the new Stanley Kubrick or something. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Don't apologize, it was still fun. Yeah, that's good to hear, Frank. I mean, yeah, in a way, there's just so much I want to do with my life, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. We just have so, so much little time to walk this earth, I just don't want to miss a second of it. Carpe diem, my friend. Carpe diem, yes, that's the best way to put it, David. Have you... Travel out of the country as of recently? No, I can't say I have. No, no. No, no, I, I forgot. Do you, do you still smoke? No, I quit that a while back. How long ago? Shit, Dave, are you my pediatrician or something? I'm just trying to make small talk. I, I meant nothing by it. You never answered my question before. What are some of your hobbies? Uh, no. Oh, oh God. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, there's gotta be something you do other than work. No. No, oh, just, just, just accounting. I come home, put on a movie, and just fall asleep. No offense, David, but that's kind of sad. That's subjective, Frank. Do you have to have something to do other than work? What? All right, all right. Do you really want to know? Is it embarrassing or something? Serial killer. I have killed over 20 people. You're kidding, right? Who did you kill, David? David, who did you kill? Sean Wilson. Florencio Turner, Beulah White, Olivia Cervantes, Carol McCaskill, <laughs> Mickey Harrison, Julia Draper, Cole McCormick, Edward Thompson, Lisa Sneed, and Joe Wallace. Actually, he's actually upstairs in my bathtub. Would you like to meet Joe Wallace, Frank? I don't believe you. <laughs> the offer stands on the table. The offer stands on the fucking <laughs> yeah, you could fucking kill him. Where are we going? Just drive. Billy? Jitterbug? What's next? What are we doing? Well, you two are done for the day. I just need Lorelai to take me to the shipment. Bill, you uh, catch the Expos game last night? They crushed the pilots. 
No, I, I missed it. Thanks for ruining it. Sorry. Prick. Expos? Yeah, Montreal Expos. Montreal? Montreal. What are you, a fucking Canuck or something? Fuck you, Billy likes that team too. No, I don't. What? I only said I like that team to make you feel better. Canadian baseball is the biggest joke in all of Major League Baseball. Fucking told you. Fuck you. Randy Johnson is a better pitcher than any American pitcher. Randy Johnson is an American pitcher. No, he's not. Just because he plays for a Canadian team doesn't mean he's from Canada. You didn't really think that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> You're so fucking stupid! Holy shit, that's so good! Dude! He looked at me funny. Guys, why did we kill that man? You know what he did. Hello, no one is available to take your call at this time. Please leave a message after the tone. Really? Man, I don't know where you are or what you're doing, but I need your help. I don't know. What do you mean? He stole from my friend, my client. Since when do you care about stuff like that, Billy, huh? What did you just say to me? Not once, not one time have you ever cared about anyone other than yourself. And it's about damn time someone calls you out on it. Just drop it. Heading to coming right out of town. Going, going towards the city? Um, I was trying to. My car broke down. Okay, okay. What kind of car do you have? Honda Accord. Oh, yeah. Those things are reliable for anything. <sighs> I'm David. Uh, Rebecca. Nice to meet you, Rebecca. <sighs> so, did you grow up around here? Uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, like 30 minutes away. 30 minutes away? Nice, nice. Uh, what to tell about me? Uh, I grew up a little north, went to college south, and then picked a 
spot in the middle, so I'm close to family, but also if I want to go back to school, I can. I'm an accountant. Oh. Yeah, got my degrees and everything. And now, sure, it's not the greatest profession, but hey, it pays the bills, so why <laughs> change it? <laughs> what are your hobbies? Um, well, at the moment, I don't really have time for any of that. I'm a teacher's assistant. Nice, nice, nice. What grade? Third. Third. Aww. Oh, my uh, my uh, youngest brother. Sorry, I have, I have four brothers. Oh. Uh, my my youngest brother. Uh, he's he's in third grade up where I used to live, and uh, he's liking it so far. But he's saying it's uh, he feels like they're treating him like uh, a dumbass. <laughs> but uh, you know, from a medium, he kind of. Uh, <laughs> but hey, those are little kids. They gotta learn. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I uh, I definitely remember those days. Not at all. <laughs> uh, are, uh, did you get your teacher's degree? Your teaching degree? Uh, yeah. I just have to finish working in that setting, and then I can be a teacher. Oh, okay. So this is like your your training, yeah. per se. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. What's your end goal? Honestly, I'm not sure yet. Just testing the waters, seeing what I like. Okay. Okay. When's your birthday? How old are you? Uh, April. I'm 23. April and 23s. Okay. All right. I'm a I'm a November kid. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Growing up, had my birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then nothing for the remainder of the year until the end, which is pretty nice if I do say so myself. <laughs> uh, 26. That's a nice age, I guess. I mean, I'm on the. If you're rounding up, I'm about 30, and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Just one day less on this earth. <laughs> it's not nice. Ooh, can I show you something? Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. I just picked you up, but <laughs> these these cornfields are actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, here I'll actually. I, I know two of the people that do live around here. Here, let's pull around. Sit right here. Yeah, I know they have a gate and everything. All right. So this cornfield leads beyond those woods. I know it's gonna be scary and I know you just met me, but please. Uh, we're gonna go beyond these woods a little bit and then we're gonna reach this old abandoned house. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Okay. It's, it's something to show. I never really talk to people. So, when I get the chance. Is that okay? One second. What are you doing? Oh yeah, man, let's just uh, turn the time for a second. <laughs>
photograph you get in the front. You're not a little kid anymore. What's up? How was school? Talk to anyone? Are you doing okay? What's wrong? I'm going out tonight. Again. Oh, where are you going? I can't tell you. This is going to be the last one. It is? This is the last one, I promise. Why? I don't want to talk. Okay. If anything goes wrong, if anything goes wrong, Lorelai, what are you talking about? If anything happens to me, if anything happens, what, what's going on? I'm going to have to go live with Aunt Jody upstairs. Please, Lorelai, I'm scared. Tell me what's happening. What's going on? I've been providing for you ever since mom died and dad left to go buy scratch offs. Do you know how long ago that was? I don't know. Five years, that was five years ago. Since then, it's just been you and me against the world. Do you know how I've been supporting us? Huh, do you? You don't wanna know the shit I've had to go through to support you. I need you to have a better life. I want you to have a better life. So all I'm asking for is just a little bit of privacy and the tiny, tiniest bit of confidentiality. Is that too much to ask for, Rocky? No, I'm sorry. All right, look, I'm sorry. If I come home safe and sound, then I'll answer every question you have for me. Is that a deal? I love you. I love you too. Angelo. Angelo, it's it's your neighbor. It's David. Is, is everything okay? Can you can you just answer the door? I I really really need to ask you something.
Um, so they said they were hiring on that billboard. I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna push anything on you, but obviously it would be helpful if you got a job or something. Yeah, but how would I get there? You can walk, it's not that far. But or like, I can, I can give you rides, like what I can, but obviously, you know, like I'm, I'm out and about a lot, so. They're like, don't you have friends that can drive? I mean, yeah, but if they're not, I don't, what ha You can just work after school. I mean, if that's what I did. I guess, I'll, I'll think about it. I might put in an application. I mean, it doesn't have to be there. You can work somewhere else, but like, it would be helpful. Because obviously, like, it's not like, we're always tight on money, so it's, you know. Would you be pissed at me if I told you we had to move? Upstate with Aunt Jody? Maybe, I don't know. Just away from here. I'm, I mean... I mean, like, I told you, like, this is the last time I'm going out, so I kind of need to find a new job or something. I don't really know what that would be, but... I mean, like, if we need to go, I guess that'd be okay. I mean, I prefer it. Just like... We could, like, start over, kind of, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, you're not... Like, if we would leave, you wouldn't be, like, leaving anyone, like, behind to report to right? You don't have... No. Okay. It, and it's just in the air. It's just, like, an option. It's not... I'm not saying that we have to, but, you know, it's just... It would be nice. Yeah. I that. Last night when you came home, Ellie James just like her, her light was on and I like saw that she was up again. She seems really nosy. Like Yeah. She's in your grade, right? Like at school? Yeah. Does yeah. she say anything? I mean like she asks a lot of questions. And I just well, am like what do you tell her? You just I just kinda like uh blow it off. I'm like mm -hmm. You don't need Like what know. do you mean? Like how much do you tell her? Like, nah, I'm just like, oh, Lorelai's at her job, like, that's why she comes home so late. And she's like, what do you do? Like, what are you doing? Like, what's she, what, what's her job? And I'm just like, uh, goodbye, <laughs> and then I go to class. Okay, I'm like, obviously don't tell her too much, because, like, I don't, I don't need that on me. And obviously, like, you don't need that on you, but, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then, like, her mom, doesn't her mom, like, try to... I don't know. I just ignore her. So it's like it's like weird because she tries to be endearing. She's like, oh, like you take care of your sister. It's like that's so bad. Like I know she's full of shit. You know, she's like one of those fake nice people. And I'm like, I don't need your help or anything. I don't, I'm fine. I'm not. A, we're not a charity case. Like we're we're fine on our own. People just need to learn how to mind their own business. Mm-hmm. And how like her daughter's like she's nice but then like not nice. Like what? Like, I don't know, she'll be like, Oh like, do you need anything? Like you know, if you ever need to like stay over at my house, like Yeah. But like condescending. Yeah. <sighs> you know whatever. They suck. We don't need you know, we don't need that. Jitterbug. Fuck. What? I need your help. I'm already helping you. I know that. Okay. What do you want? I want you to take out Mashstick. What? Why? Think about it like a game of chess. I don't play chess. Mashstick is Billy's right hand man. Take him out and we'll have a significant advantage. 
All right, look, you know what happened last time I was ordered to kill someone? No. It was messy. Just take out Matchstick, by any means necessary. You got a preference? Use a baseball bat. I'm on it. Where am I? What is this? Camarillo Brillo. Yes? Sit down. Look up. Time is a precious thing. Some have less time than others, but we all have to go sometime. Why? I don't know. Have you seen killer clowns from outer space? Yeah, I mean, like once or twice. Why? It's such a good movie. That's... I've seen way better movies. Like what? Aliens? But it just... It's its own niche, you know? You can't compare it to, like, serious horror films. It's just different, you know? I, I guess you got a point. I mean, I, I don't think I really enjoy those kind of movies, though. Really? I, no, not really. It's the just... whole... Clowns from outer space doesn't really do it for me. Really? It's just can't be enough to be perfect, you know? It's not like... 
I guess. It's not some deep, subversive movie. It's just meant to be enjoyed. I feel like people put too much energy into making their movies as special as possible, and they forget about what makes a movie good. Yeah. I mean, you got a point, but I don't know. I will admit all the special effects and stuff, revolutionary Just for sure. Just goofy. <laughs> the cotton candy cocoons, dude. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> this has been crazy, though. Yeah. And you heard about the plan? Yeah, I heard about it. I, I don't agree with it, though. I think it'll work. You think it'll work? I mean, we got the, the job from Old Timer. He's crazy enough as it is. And Billy's a whole nother bag. I mean, you know some of the stuff that Billy's done. Yeah. Tyson really. last year tried to do the same shit. You remember seeing his body in the river. But that's Tyson. How are we I any think, different? I think it's stupid enough to work. Same guy, same crazy motherfucker that did the same shit. And we're gonna end up the same way. It's just different this time. Oh. You, you just gotta trust in the process. Jerbug, I, I trust you, I do. But like, we were just trying to get by here. What happened to the days we were just trying to get by? We'd, we weren't caught up in all this shit. Don't you want to do more than just get by? In this world, I don't, I don't know. You know I got your back. I, I will put Billy down if I have to, but this isn't gonna end anything. This is just gonna put us further back, I mean, and that's saying if we do get past Billy. He's a smart guy. I know he's crazy, but he's smart. He's gonna know everything we're thinking about. You don't mm. think he's planned for shit like this? I think he has, but I think it'll be different. I don't think he's prepared enough. If we get caught, he's not just gonna kill us. He's gonna make us suffer. Then we won't get caught. He's gonna wanna send a message. Can I give that thing a shot? We're fucked. We're all fucked. Billy knows. No, he doesn't. Just calm down. I can't calm down. I, I just can't calm down. I know he knows. Why else would he bring Lorelai with him? He brings Lorelai with him everywhere on stuff like this. It makes perfect sense, Charlie. You don't know that. Just stay helpful. Yvonne knows what she's doing. I don't like this. I think Charlie's right. I think we need to delay the plan. No, 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 no. We can't delay it. He's gonna find out if he doesn't know already. If you don't like it, you can leave. We need to all work together. Let's say Billy knows. What's the worst that can happen? There's four of us and one of him.
Billy, where are we going? You know where we're going. No, I don't. You haven't said anything yet. Well, I don't think I need to say anything. Weren't you heading out somewhere? No. Oh. Okay. Well, last I checked, you were going to hang out with some friends today and drive over there. No, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to do that. Well, Why would you say that? How come you're being all so coy about it? I mean, come on. I'm not being coy. I'm just confused as to why you're being so defiant. Where are we going? Well, I, as I said, you know where we're going. You just haven't started driving yet. What do you mean? I don't know where we're going. You haven't told me. Oh, I can't believe you haven't put this together. Together already, Lorelai. Put what together, Billy? As if there's anything else to say. Man, you're telling me that you, Lorelai, have no plans despite having talked with your friend Yvonne and her whole crew. I don't have plans. I don't know what you're talking you were about. You're gonna drive there earlier without me knowing. I don't know, it doesn't, I don't know what you're talking about, Billy. You might as well go there right now. I know you were going there. Why are you so quiet? You were so talkative before. I, I don't know what I can say to convince you. I don't have any plans. Well, you were clearly trying to say something before. I don't, how is it so hard for you to just Say what you were gonna say. Let it all out. I don't. I wasn't going to say anything. I don't have any plans, Billy. I don't know what well, you're talking about. Well, I know about. you weren't going to say anything before, but you might as well now. Say what? Say what? Okay. You're telling me say what? I don't know what you want me to tell you. Yes, you do, no, Lorelai. Just get out with it already. You have the car started. You have the car started. You know where you want to go. You were going to go somewhere before, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You were going to just drive without me knowing anything. Why does it matter to you where I go, Billy? Because I have my own little plan here, and you have your own little plan here. What little plan? I don't know what you're talking <sighs> about. Weren't you just going to go drive off to Yvonne's house? No! Right under my back? No, I don't know what you're talking steal about. steal from me. I don't know what you're talking about, Billy. Yes, you do, no, Lorelai. Just admit it. I don't know what you're saying. <sighs> okay. Why don't you just drive there? And you, you're going to drive there, okay? I'm going to do what I have to do, but you're going to be fine, okay, Lorelai? Is that okay with you? What do you mean, what do you want to do? I'm going to go over to Yvonne's. I'm going to cause a little bit of trouble, but you're going to be fine, okay? All you got to do is get me over there. Is that okay with you?
Billy, you've been gone for so long. Yeah? How long, buddy? I, uh, I don't know. A year? Yeah. A year, I think. A year? Yeah. A year. Look, buddy, I'm sorry about all of this. I really, truly am. Angelo, listen to me. I said, listen to me. If this stuff doesn't wear off, if you don't come down from it, if it doesn't stop, I don't want you to be afraid to make it stop. You got that? Yeah. Yeah, I got that. 